Hello and welcome to one of the first Ask Drews, I need to find the better title. But uh, the way this will work is I have had some people submit in uh, their little problems to me and I will just give them advice. Obviously I'm not an expert or anything. So what I want you to do is, uh, if you use the names of the people and then perhaps even just write down your own suggestions for how they could um, how they could solve their problems and we can work in it that way, have a little community thing going. Okay, so the first question or problem comes from someone called Daniel and he says I'm 18 years old and recently come out of a relationship with someone I have been with well over a year now and I'm finding it hard without him. I'm now with someone new who understands me much better than before so hopefully I'll be feeling myself again soon. I've never told anyone what the problem was my previous relationship, only my partner. The problem was that he always wanted to be a top in the relationship which didn't really bother me too much, but it was something I had never done before and wanted to try. I only brought it up about three times in the relationship, and every time he would say, no, I don't like it. So, in the end, I just settled for it, but it grew on me more and more to the point where I couldn't be with someone as selfish as that. So I ended it. I loved him so much, and it was such a difficult decision to make, but it was what I thought was right at the time. I just thought this would have been something that would be good to put onto your channel for the problem videos as it could be a big problem amongst gay people. Um, so, yeah, so to Daniel, um, I totally uh, see where you're coming from with how it pissed you off eventually. Um, I know unless the person said I'm a top or I'm a bottom exclusively right at the start, then you can't really expect too much, but if there's no kind of knowledge of where everything's going, <laughs> where everything's going, um, then I think totally if if someone is so selfish that they only want to do one thing and they won't let you even try, or they won't even try doing the other thing, so it's, it beca it'll become really stagnant and really frustrating. I can totally see where you're coming from with that because I've experienced it in the past. Um, and to be fair, I was... I've been, sometimes I've been like your ex was, and I wouldn't try anything different. Um, so I can see from both sides, because I mean, sometimes people don't want to try something, and you know, you can't force them to do that. And it obviously just says something about the person, so the fact that you, like you mentioned it to him a few times, and he just point blank said, no, I don't like it, and he never actually tried it with you, because everyone's different, you know, it's not a universal sock club, it doesn't just fit everything then, you know, he's really selfish, and I totally agree with you. Um, it would have pissed me off to a point where I would have ended it as well if nothing changed after so long. And it can be quite a shame, really. So I think the advice would be to anyone that's going to go into a relationship, um, obviously you don't want to ask someone, oh, do you like the fact people or do you like the be fact? Because that's just a bit odd of a thing to ask before you even go out to them or even date them or anything. But perhaps find out somehow. Um, even just by suggesting something as simple as, you know, um, what, like if you ever gone to the conversation of sex, because gay people do often, then you could just say something like, uh, what do you like doing? And then they would probably say, I'm exclusively top, or I'm exclusively bottom, I'm versatile, I like to do a bit of both, or whatever. Um, and then you can find it that way, that's what I would do. Because I know a lot of people are quite upfront in saying what they do prefer, um, so they can avoid situations like that. But I know you can get people that are tops or bottoms, and they will try it, it totally depends on the person though, so just sass out who you're going with and if it doesn't work out then obviously they're not right for you, you know? Um, if you wouldn't even try it at all then obviously it just wasn't right so I I think leaving him was totally the better option to do. Um, as Again, uh, if any of you have got any other comments on that then just leave them down below to Daniel uh, this next one is from someone who wants to be anonymous, so for the sake of anonymity, I shall call him Jimmy. <laughs> hey Joe, high school student in the US, which means I'm surrounded by assholes. I'm gay and my closest friends and family knows. Only my closest friends and family knows. But I think I would maybe feel a bit better if I were to come out and not have to lie about who I am. I'm just kind of worried about if people start to act differently towards me or if people will not like it and just become dicks. What should I do? Um, so to you, Jimmy, uh, 
coming out, I'll always say coming out is definitely the better option regardless of anything. Um, because it's easy to think, oh, people are going to react badly or people will like think I'm a total freak or whatever. And for some part it can be true because you do get people that are just dicks. Um, but if they are good friends, then, you know, good friends will be good friends regardless of where you are. Because you were gay when they, they, you're gay and they know who you are now. So just because of the fact that you like a bit of dick doesn't mean that you're going to change suddenly overnight, you know. So if people do change around you for coming out, then totally not worth it. And if they don't and they still be the same people, then it's even better. They just know who you are truly. And you can be a lot more comfortable and you can just do your thing. You haven't got to worry about, oh shit, people will see me or, you know, because that's never fun. Every, every gay person was in the closet at some point in their life. Um, for me, I was lucky enough to have good family, even though I, d I, d I did think that uh, certain family, like my brothers and stuff, I thought that they would have been a bit funny with it, but they weren't. Um, they were still the same people afterwards, they just had a bit more jokes at my expense, but it was nothing like no harshness. My mother was great, my father was, he was fine with it, but he, he thought I was just like, in denial because I'm bisexual and he thought, oh, he's confused, he doesn't know where he wants. Like, fuck you. But um, you get people like that anyway, you know. My battery's gonna die. So, yes, come out. Uh, don't make a big deal about it either, just tell people. There's no there's no reason for people to be so dramatic about it. You don't have to just come like, well, I'm gay. You know, you can just, just come out. Say, just sit, sit, sit the people down as closest to you that doesn't know and just say, um, I'm gay. Deal with it. <laughs> That's why I work. I don't care what people think about me so much, so I don't know. I'm probably not the best one to ask either because I've never had a bad reaction to being bisexual. So, yeah, to the audience, how would you help out Jimmy? Uh, do you think you should come out of the closet to everyone? Because I mean, his friends and family know, so that's the main thing, so the other people don't really matter that much anyway, I'd assume. And there's a reason, actually, yeah. If it's a bit ambiguous, if if you don't even like know them particularly, if they're just associates or acquaintances, then it doesn't even matter. You don't have to tell them anything. I mean, your family know, your friends know. That's all that counts. You know, I don't go up on the street and I go to the shop and then I'm just like, hey, I'm gay. I'm just myself. If they think that, if they think I'm gay, then fair enough. If they think I'm straight, then fair enough. They're both wrong either way, but you know, um, can't be. So my battery just died, so I don't know if anything like that got cut off. But to summarise Jimmy's problem, you've told your friends, you've told your family, so anyone else, doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, there's no reason to like be all like, I'm gay. Just, just be yourself. If people like you, then that's great. If they don't like you, then it doesn't matter, you know? So that's what I would say. So to all my people, my audience, um, for Daniel and Jimmy, uh, if you could just let them know in the comments below what your advice would be on this situation. Um, if you want to ask me anything for yourself, then you can find my Gmail address in the description below. Uh, DrewT1189 at gmail.com uh, Send that to me, your problem. I'm trying to be as punctuated and spelling corrected as possible because I have to edit them otherwise and it confuses me. And uh, just put in the subject line, uh, ask Drew, and then I know exactly where it's for. Okay, and if you want to be anonymous, let me know. If you don't mind, then I'll just use your name. I won't use all your name, I'll just say your first name, like Daniel. Uh, but Jimmy's anonymous. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next one sometime soon. I'll see the vlog tomorrow. So yeah, goodbye. Woo!